16. Grasshoppers. So it doesn't need to be necessarily an English name for that food. It could be a Spanish name, which is chapulines, right? Also, group learning. I want my students to improve their sociocultural competence when they are group learning. So I want them to be aware of how important it is to rely on others, to set the task, to help others, and to be helped by others. And finally, I will make a link to Elisa's session this afternoon because it has to do with interculture. Because we are going to talk about different cultures, different continents, and different food. Okay? So, that it is. The parameters of this session are going to be 25 students on purpose. 25, that's the average 25, 27 in every school. So, let's say 25. It will be a heterogeneous group, diverse, different nationalities, different back social and economic backgrounds, right? And I have planned three sessions, mostly speaking, one hour per session. I know some of you have 45 minutes, but the average is one hour. It was easier, so as to say. So, as I said before, my group will be heterogeneous, will be national as teachers, and I want you to, des to design a cooperative learning activity. You have a template there. The template is also uploaded onto Moodle. You will find it there, and it's on Word, so you can work on that if you need more space later on, whatever, okay? But to work here, you have the template paper-based, okay? So in this template, you are going to see that you have some parameters let me help you. Yeah. Can I have one? Can I have one? Thank you very much. Thank you. So, look at that. The first thing that I really need to know is the name of your activity. Because if I'm successful with um, Kahoot, I will write the name of all your activities. And we will vote who will be the two activities that will be presented at the end of this session. Right? So I need to have the name of your activities. Then I need to know the subject, the content, the level, and the schedule that you are going to set for your cooperative learning activity. So it's natural sciences, social sciences, is art, music, what is it? What is the content or even the block? What is the level? Third, second, fourth, early, early childhood education, whatever. And the schedule, how many hours, how many sessions are going you to devote to this session. Then, please, set the objectives, both general and specific objectives, right? Then, sorry, there's a mistake, there's not O-E, it's, it's S-O, sorry for that. Then the rules, set the rules for the students, right? Also, the groups, who are the, group, the groups? What are the roles? What is the classroom disposition? Provide a space for the students to move around the classroom because sometimes it's an issue. Sometimes if you set many groups, they can't work in the classroom. And also interaction. Think about making them interact. Group working. Interaction of groups. Not within groups, but among groups. The procedure, including the steps and the tasks that you are going to define. And finally, the evaluation, including, if you can, tools and procedure. Right? So, this is more or less what I would like you to do. It doesn't need something very complicated. But, if I can beg, should be something really new, different. No, 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 in groups. You are going to work in groups. If possible, it would be good that you work in lines as you are here. So it would be like easy for here, right? You are alone. You can jump. Lovely. Thank you very much. 